go down and trade a motherfucking to the king of the streets, nigga. I need you to focus right now. Get a good look. You watching Miss Drama TV, nigga. I said that. Trade the truth. Get at me. Truth is on the way. I'm here with Trey the Truth, talking about the album coming up next year, 2010, February, right? Yeah. Signature name, right? The Truth. The Truth. Yeah. Right? Self titled. Now, talk a little bit about this album and, and, and the fact that you were able to link up with some of those who are in Texas, some of the the, the, uh, the artists there. And not only that, but you took it kind of bi coastal and, and even in the South. You got Wayne on it, you got Game. You, you, you really got a lot of people kind of supporting you on this. How did that come about? Uh, I mean, you know, first and foremost, man, you know, I don't really get caught up in the industry type shit. A lot of them, uh, a lot of them uh, entertainers. And niggas on my shit, them my family, you know, them my partners, like them my niggas. So, you know, we don't, I don't really get too much caught up in that industry type shit, you know. At the end of the day, man, I truly appreciate having niggas like that that I can hit, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And at any given moment, they're going to they gonna come through for a nigga. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, you know, they rooting for a nigga, man, because you know, you know how this shit go. When you out here, man, you end up dead in jail. And with me being in the streets, anything can happen any given day, and a lot of niggas feel like I tell it, so they stood up for me. You know, that shit meant a lot to me. Okay. You know, just like shit you got... Like, I tell niggas all the time, this bragging rights right here. When you got the motherfucking legend, cool, hurt coming to support you. Nobody else's opinion matters to me right now. You know, that's my nigga. Right. Now, talk about just how you changed um, since, your, since the, your first album, you know. Talk, talk about where you are right now, and are you in a good place? I mean, are, are you frustrated with, with this, the industry, or have you just accepted what it is and, and keep I, moving? I'm always, I, I adapt to my situations, you know what I'm saying, so... I'm never just upset. I just got I gotta make do and deal with it. As far as me, I'm at peace right now. You know, I just had my, my newborn son and you know, I'm I'm still providing out here for the streets, you know, they they want me to be out here representing this ace to the fullest and that's what I'm doing. I mean, you got to hear that people haven't even heard my album yet. They don't know what to expect. You know, like this on some I guarantee my album is sitting on 90% of the industry easy. <laughs> Whenever you had an album, you ain't got to skip over songs like that, you know? Right. So, and that ain't just capping. That's like, I take pride in what I do for mine, you know what I'm saying? So So what is the message to the industry? I mean, if you can kind of just give us a preview for those who aren't. The truth is on the way. Okay. And once you get there, you got to deal with it. You know? Anything you specifically in that truth that, that you can tell us now? Uh, I'm forced to be reckoned with it, and I ain't going nowhere. Okay. All right. You know, you come, to, you come to Texas or you bring your ass to Houston, I'll show you better than I can tell you, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and just talking about your, your state, um, how do you feel about, um, I guess, the, where, where the South is right now, musically, e even your state? Do you feel like they are at the top, as some people are saying, or do you feel like they've lost their win to some degree? No, nah, man, each, each person, I gotta say, like, to each his own, you know. I mean, there's people on top everywhere. It just depends on how you look at it. But one thing you can't say, you can't say that we not definitely on that front line. I mean, shit, you know, you got Wayne, you know, you got Tip, you got G's, you got, you know, you got a lot of cats doing their thing, you know. Right, and then you have some Canadian artists. <laughs> I mean, how do you feel about the, 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 the new wave of hip-hop that's starting to come on? I mean, you know, we have, I've heard the album so far, and, and, and you have awesome ballads on it with a lot of... Not to cut you off, you got that, see the app? Yeah. Where's that? You put it up? All right. You say I got good, you say you got oh, yeah. a lot of stuff with Right, I, I've heard a lot of heartfelt ballads on the album. I mean, and but that's, that kind of go back to with the album, Truth is self-titled for a reason. Like, uh -huh. people got to understand, like, when I do my music, that's like how I've been. I can't, I right. can't sit and talk to you like, hey, I'm going through this. Right. I get in my zone and I let loose, you know, because okay. if I don't let loose like that, all that pressure builds up and I'll be fuck somebody up out here, so. Okay. But, but do you, how, how do you feel about the, the new wave of, of hip-hop right now? Are you interested in the uh, the uh, Kid Cuddies, the Drakes? I mean, does that interest you I, at all? I, 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 I can't say I, I, I had a chance to even check out none of Kid Cuddy stuff yet. Drake, you know, that's the little homie, you know. Like I say, I... I me and him dealt with each other on, on other levels. Now, we haven't even did music yet, but, you know, he's talented, hands down. You okay. know, anybody who 
who can get out there how we get out there, whether it be rapping, whether it be singing, whether it be just picking the right tracks and doing what's what, you got to give credit to, you know? Mm-hmm. Regardless if you like them or don't like them, you got to give respect where respect due. Niggas talented. Okay. But, you know, that's the homie. He talented, so... I mean, the buzz for one speak for itself, you know. Okay. And, I mean, you, you dealt with the industry politics. You you know the ups and downs. I mean, yeah, you, you know what it's all I, I about. I fall victim to it. I always, maybe, maybe this might be the reason that it took me a little longer to get around, but I always stay me because if I stay me and I don't really fall in the, the, the midst of all that, you know, that snake in the grass industry shit, I'm good to go. So what is your advice to some of the artists that are dealing with it now, for example, Beans and, and Jay and, and, you know, even some of the artists that have broken away with their management or even with their label. What I mean, is your advice to them as an artist who's been through it? It's really, it's kind of, I'd be wrong to, to give them advice. I mean, because it's like everybody living in their own situation, so would give me the right to speak on their personal situation. You experience know maybe? Just I mean, experience, but see, what people got to understand it ain't, it's, it's deeper than experience. Like, nobody can tell me that it has anything to do with experience when it, when it comes to beans and jail. That's something personal. Mm-hmm. You know, like, if I'm at it with one of mine, nobody will be able to experience or not experience. Nobody will be able to tell me nothing about that because that's something personal. You know right. what I'm saying? Or not even, like, you and know, keep your head to, up. Huh? <laughs> keep your head up, hang in there. No, I mean, at the end of the day, that, that's, self, that's self-explanatory. A soldier's going to ride whatever. A soldier's going to adapt to the situation and make the best of it, meaning regardless if you count us out. You know, underdogs are always the ones that know how to maintain. It's the motherfuckers who ain't the underdogs who got their breaks. Mm-hmm. When that pressure come on them, then they be the ones want to kill themselves. Okay. You know, Beanie has been locked down. Beanie been doing this, so I, I I know the homie. He, he know how to handle the situation. He okay. good right now. So yeah, he's definitely good. I mean, he, yeah, I support was, him. I mean, she, was it a smart move to you know kind of start with the fifty and then see kind of where that takes him? I, I mean, like I say, to each his own. I don't really know. You know, each person has their own. With me, just like say for him, for instance, if I'm in a situation like that, it matters not how big the person is or how little the person is. If I feel disrespected, I feel it's a problem, I'm going to go okay. out. And that's just what that is. All right. And, and this album, again, you know, you have a lot of people supporting you. Um, just in the future, I mean, what, what can we expect from, from Trey? I mean, where uh, is, are, am I going to see you on the movie screen? Am I going to yeah, see that's, you that's doing... Yeah, that's definitely coming. Of course, within the industry, they love my voice. So they, they always want me to do the voiceovers. I don't know if you made it to see the cartoon. A little bit. I'm working on my cartoon series. Hopefully MTV picked that up. Shout out to Tomb of Sway and all them who showed up, you know. But uh, hopefully they get picked up and it's like, shit, I'm out here, baby. I'm just trying to I'm trying to do whatever I can do for the little motherfuckers coming behind me because right. I'm their big homie. All if right. I fuck up a fair, that's going to take, that's gonna discourage them. So I got to be out here doing what needs to be done. All right. Of course, just everybody, let everybody know again the album. Trade the Truth. It's set for February 16th. <laughs> Okay. But we're just going to say the first quarter. And on top of that, the only thing you can check out right now from the album, well, you can check out the video featuring Lindsey Kent. That's a serious video, Not My Time. My single, Something Real, with Slim Flies, Brian Angel, and Jodeci. And other than that, the person behind the camera get to brag to y'all because they got to hear the album. Y'all didn't. You All know? right. That ain't me being funny. It's just like they two, y'all two, three months in advance to everybody. So All right. Know? Y'all know what to y'all know what to look for right now. The good thing is gonna be elemental surprise for me. Nobody gonna know what, what to expect. All right. Thank you so much. I love. All right.